Hey guys, George of Soundtracks here. This week we're going to talk about volume control and all the different ways Soundtracks provides you the sounds and the control over those sounds so that you can get the most realistic experience out of your railroad. So let's get started. So with Soundtracks products, we first of all give you a master volume control. This allows you to take the control of the volume and adjust it up and down so that all the sounds equally move up and down. So that way you get a proportional sound change of all the different sounds. Soundtracks also gives you full control of all volume of every individual sound effect. So for example, some of the other companies out there will give you some of the main sounds of volume control. So you'll have a bell, a whistle, or a exhaust chuff. And then everything else is considered background sounds, where they've already pre-mixed those sounds together, and then you're only allowed to adjust those volumes up and down evenly. But what happens if you're running on a locomotive that doesn't have an air compressor? These are the things that Soundtracks takes into consideration when we give you all of the volume controls. So each individual sound effect has its own volume control. Now each of those CVs has a range from zero to 255, which represents zero or all the way off, all the way up to 255, which represents full volume. And then as we discussed, the master volume will give you control of the sounds evenly up or down together as a collective group. So let's try this out and see what this does. So we're gonna go ahead and unmute the locomotive. And you can hear the air compressor there, and then you'll hear the blower running in the background. Now, individual volume control allows me to adjust the volume. So when you go to the user's guide, you're gonna see this document where you'll see a full list of CVs and individual sound volumes and the CV number that coordinates with that sound effect so that that way you can adjust the volume. So again, we can hear the blower running right here. This is CV number 134. Now I can take CV 134 and I can turn it all the way up to a value of 255, where now you can hear that blower so much louder. Now again, I can take CV 134, we can adjust it down, we'll put it at a value of 100. So it's not quite as quiet as it was before, but it is a little quieter than it was just now. Now I can take the master volume and adjust the sound all the way up. So CV128 is where my master volume lives. I can turn this all the way up to 255, where you can hear that blower get a little bit louder, or we can adjust it all the way down where I can take CV128 We'll set it down to a value of 100. And again, you can hear how that volume has decreased. Now, with that, I can do the whistle. And again, if I change my master volume, we're gonna change CV128 down to a value of 50. So now you can hear how much lower the whistle volume is gonna be. And then I have further control. CV129 is my whistle volume. So I can take that down to 100, and you can see how much quieter the sound is. So with these individual sound controls, you can set up a full customized volume mixer for your sounds. Now also one of the other things Soundtracks does is we have also introduced a secondary volume mixer. And this is a second set of volume controls that you can toggle back and forth between a function so that you can have club settings where they're very loud, or you can run at home where they're more quiet. Or you can use that to enable certain sound effects in certain conditions and other sound effects not when you flip back and forth between the mixer by setting the individual volumes of the sound effects to zero. Now for more information on this, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com. Be sure to check out the Steam Diesel and Electric User's Guide for the Tsunami 2 and also the Steam and Diesel Guide for Economy, where you also have individual volume controls there as well. Thank you.